Hey guys, how's it going? <coughs> so, quick video today to show you guys how to um, pull out a base of a statue properly in uh, Mesh Mixer. So, a lot of what I see on forums and stuff like that, um, people have difficulties in hollowing out bases like this. So, when you use programs like Mesh Mixer or Tutor Box and do a hollow, uh, it will keep the bottom section of the hollow. <coughs> so it will only hold out the internal bits. So what I usually do is um, actually turn this into a reversed dish or cup. So just uh, so it's just the walls of the bottom of the base that's uh, that's showing, and then everything else in the middle is empty, and then it basically just has a two millimeter wall. Um, around the side. So this will save you a ton of resin and also much easier to clean and um, and paint. And um, the big big thing is uh, suction as well so you don't have to worry about um, adding vent holes or anything like that because this whole bottom bit will be completely empty. So let's get started. So bringing your base obviously into Mesh Mixer, go into Edit and then Hollow. let this calculate. Now I'm going to use a 2 millimeter thick wall which is um, a good thickness uh, for bases and for resin printers. So 2 mil, that's all fine, the default setting looks all fine, just check it. Cool. So we'll hit accept and then we'll separate out the internal piece by going into separate shells. So now you'll see here that it's actually two objects. So you need to hide the main one and then what we're looking at is the internal shell. So before we can do anything to this, um, this piece we need to inverse the normals on it. So see how it's coming up red stripes? You need to go to select, select the mesh and then go to edit, flip normals. And now you'll just have a nice normal color. Okay, so this is the part where um, most people will skip. So what I'll do, I'll actually select the bottom edge of the base and then extrude it outwards. And then what I'll do is using that is to cut up the, uh, the main uh, base. So I select and then go to edit, uh, sorry, select and deform and then soft transform. So using soft transform will just give you a soft before off, uh, whereas transform will just literally just pull those polygons. So soft transform. And then what I'm going to do is just pull this down. Now you want to extend it so it's uh, going outside the main base. So what you can do is actually switch on the base here and then just pull it out just enough so it's cutting outside when we do the boolean subtraction. And what that's going to do, everything in the orange here, that's going to all get cut out. So I hope that makes sense. And uh, what you can also do is just shrink this down slightly so you actually have a thicker bottom lip uh, to make the base stronger, basically when it's uh, when it's uh, standing, standing on your table or whatever, so it just gives it a bit more surface area. Okay, and then we we'll hit enter, and now we're ready to do the boolean subtraction or difference. So select your main one, main base, and then select your cutout base, and then go into edit, and then difference. A boolean difference. And you see what it's down here. So this is this is the efficient way to hollow out a base basically. Now there are some settings that I usually do on here. I um, tick auto reduce results so it doesn't do any sort of decimation. 
and then use intersection curves. And what that does is it gives you a cleaner edge where those two pieces touch each other. And hit accept. Cool, so what you basically <coughs> have now is a two millimeter wall thick base without any internal cavities that will cause suction issues. Now, this is all good and uh, you can you can print this, this should print just fine. But what I usually like to do is further refine the edges of the base here, just to make them a little bit thicker and with a smoother fall off. So it just makes it easier to print and also you have extra support where the, uh, the weight is basically bearing down onto the, on the base. So we'll do a little bit of sculpting. Go to sculpt. Turn off symmetry. And the brushes I like to use is generally the draw and the shrink smooth. So we'll use the draw first. And what I want to do is turn off flow and volumetric because if you don't turn off flow sometimes it will actually draw through the other side of the model uh, sorry volumetric if you don't turn that off sometimes it will draw through the other side which uh, so maybe if I can demonstrate here Oops, sorry yeah, so see how that's coming through the other side so that's because you've got volumetric turned on turn that off you'll see that the other side doesn't get affected okay so just make sure you have pretty much all these things off when you're sculpting and what I'll do is just go around the edges and just make them a little bit flatter and smoother so draw and sometimes turn off the strength if it's too strong and then you can use shift down shift and then left mouse click and that will be a smoothing as well. So sometimes just using shift and smooth will get you there. But I hope that makes sense as to why I'm doing this. It just gets rid of any any of those sharp corners and um, <coughs> just helps the print. Sometimes you might get weird layer shifts during printing because of these sharp corners and transitions. Just go in and bug these up. So by doing this, I'm actually adding thickness. You don't want to reduce the thickness because uh, they'll end up being less than two millimeters thick, right? And uh, you're gonna have a lot of issues after that. So you always just want to be adding thickness. And so something to watch out for with the smooth brush is that some sometimes it will be removing thickness like here. So you just got to be careful that way you're smoothing it. So we want to build up to a smooth edge. We don't want to subtract to a smooth edge, basically. If that makes sense. And you know, this is worth doing if you've got a big, uh, big model sitting at the top because it'll get heavy and resin will deform and you know I've had pieces uh, where the base was too thin and it actually started to sag and the whole uh, whole statue basically started to tilt which, which is you know, a bit annoying <laughs> so you make, try and make the base nice and strong but obviously not completely solid because it's just a waste of resin and you're going to get printing issues when you start printing solid bases so a little bit of work in Mesh Mixer is uh, going to pay off at the end there, trust me. Been printing, uh, printing statues up for a little while. Okay, 
And so this piece is actually going to be uh, 30 centimeters tall. So it will be quite heavy as well. If you're doing miniatures, you probably don't need to be doing this step. Just do the whole wing like I showed you earlier. Flip around the front just to make sure nothing has gone wonky with the brushes. It's all good. Cool, so now this piece should be good for export. So when I'm printing, I will generally you know, print it on an angle up like this. An angle. Okay, so that's good to go. So I'm just going to quickly show you the statue that's going to be sitting on top. So it's a pretty big statue, uh, 30 centimeters tall. So we want the space to be nice and solid. Anyway, um, hope this helps, and uh, I, def I definitely know it will help uh, with uh, printing workflow if you if you follow these steps because this is something that you know I've come up with over over the years um, of 3D printing uh, statues. So give that a shot and uh, happy printing. Cheers, guys. See you later.